Unfortunately, on this 4th of July, crews are still searching for an 8 year old boy who went missing in Lake Travis yesterday. North Travis Fire Rescue says he fell from a boat around 2 yesterday afternoon and was not wearing a life jacket. The search is now in recovery mode. KXN's Sarah El Sheh is out by the water with our update. Sarah. Yeah, behind me, there are some Travis County Sheriff's Office cars parked here at this boat ramp, but this isn't where the search is. The search is actually in a more remote part of Lake Travis. Now, this all started Monday afternoon around 2 p.m. when that boy went missing. North Travis Fire Rescue said he fell from the boat and was not wearing a life jacket. Austin Travis County EMS said it happened near Cow Creek and Lake Travis. The Travis County Sheriff's Office tells me they started their search back up again today around Sunday rise. They say divers are out at the water right now searching by sonar devices, so they're using sound waves to see in the water because they say there is no visibility in that part of the lake. They say the area is not that deep. It's about 25 feet, but there's a lot of silt in the water, which is like fine sand, so divers can't see at all. Today, on a day when so many families are here celebrating 4th of July, some boaters say this heartbreaking news is keeping them even more vigilant. We're all trying to share all these waters. There's people in the water. You always have to keep an eye out. It's unfortunate that something like this happened and prayers go out to the family and uh, we'll keep an eye out and hopefully um, they can recover and, you know, get him back to his family. The Travis County Sheriff's Office tells me Texas Parks and Wildlife are assisting them with this recovery and that they'll be out here until sundown. Daniel. All right, Sarah, thank you very much. And going in depth now, as Sarah just told us, there's a lot of silt in the water here. Travis County Sheriff's Office dive team captain Jeremy Turner describes searching Lake Travis as using five eyeballs attached to the end of your fingers. He says the lack of visibility under the surface is tough, so they go by feel. He also says oftentimes crews do not dive due to items like lines, ropes and anchors left by boaters, which creates an entanglement hazard. You can read more about how dangerous it can be to search these waters in Chapter 6 of our special The Wake Secrets of Lake Travis. It covers into what goes into searching this area. And it's also important to note the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department says it is state law that any child under the age of 13 must wear a U.S. Coast Guard approved life jacket on recreational uh, vessels under 26 feet in length. As for adults, they do not have to wear one at all times, but they must have properly fitting life jackets that are easily accessible.